Hey, it's Pete with the Backroom Comics Podcast. Sitting here with the lovely and talented Jessica, creator, writer, author mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of Rain Cloud with a Bar Tab, a very fine web comic. Thank you. Yay. Yeah. Where did uh, where did the inspiration for Rain Cloud with a Bar Tab come from? Um, so so dating and drinking. Um, they, no, they, they go together, really, they're friends, you know? Yes, so, yes, they uh, And I, I do a lot of both, I'm really successful at one and not so <laughs> successful at the other. But we'll let that be a mystery yeah, as to which. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so um, I feel like people sometimes get really embarrassed and a little awkward about their, their uh, not their failures, but their their learning process, you know? And so uh, just putting it out there, like, as honest as possible. Like, this is what it is. This is what you do. You fuck up. You move on. Sure. Yeah. You try to lactate Scott. You talk to your cat because no one else is there. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I guess that's the question, though. The comic is really funny. Thank you. And how much of that is really personal experience with you just kind of going, like, how can I shift most, this just a little bit? Yeah, or? most of it. There's a little shifting, right? So, like, yeah. I, I don't want to make myself look like a complete asshole, you know? So there's a little bit of, like, softening of sure. the edges. A little focus, unfocus, sure. you know? But it's mostly A little true. creative interpretation. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'll move the words around a little bit, but it all really happens. Okay. Yeah. Mm. That's my... No, no, it's good. That's the thing, is it's not sad. It's... You know? It's, uh, it's just real, right? So that's my cat. Uh, rooster. Okay. Um, There's a cat. Yeah. Oh, what's happening? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, yeah so that's my cat. Uh, that's actually what my... This is, this is the kitchen, and that's the bathroom. He, uh, he really likes bleach fumes. So Weird. every time I... Yeah, I don't know. He, like, rolls around like a crazy person on the floor every time I clean. So that's him trying to get to the tub. Oh. Yeah. And cats usually don't like tubs. Yeah, he likes... He drinks out of the faucet. Okay. Yeah. Crazy cat. <laughs> What will he think of it? Maybe he gets his own spin-off co comic? Yeah. <laughs> He's got a cape. The Adventures of Rooster the Cat. Standing in a litter box, pawing ferociously. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> no, so, yeah. So that's that's that one. And how long have you been creating the so, comic? So this comic comes from uh, one that I did. I dated this guy um, in Capitol Hill who was a flyer passer outer. Um, he was also a, a noble profession, a, a two-time felon, and he wore headphones all the time. And he had like a little knit cap that was super cute. So uh, we, we we met. We liked the same food, so we dated. But he had this dog named Like. It was this pit bull named Like. And so uh, this comic started out as one called uh, The Chronicles of Like. So I okay. named the girl after his dog. Um, well, I had the comic going for many years before. It was about sure. 10 years, right? And then I was like, oh, that's an awesome name for a girl. Sure. And it's uh, the, not the Chronicles of Love, obviously, because it's, so it's the Chronicles of Like. Aw. Yeah. Now, that brings up an interesting question, because you mentioned, you know, two-time felon and a flyer. Are you ever just <laughs> dating people <laughs> so you have story? material? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I've tried to... Uh, I've tried I to... wouldn't normally date you. However, I have a comic that needs <laughs> no. well, some updating. In my youth, my, yeah. my younger youth, yes. I, uh, I, you know... Especially I just, that older youth. Yeah, <laughs> when she gets really old. Um, no, <laughs> but I just, you know, um, people are really interesting. And, you know, it's, it's, it's like an interview. It's like, what do you what do? You, what do, you do right? So yeah. I'll, I'll take a couple days to find out, you know. You're not like jumping into bed with no. strangers, you're just having coffee. Aww. And sometimes they're felons, because that happens. I almost want to ask why he was a two-time felon. Does, but it doesn't but matter. It, it doesn't matter. It, it somehow feels better than the story just to not know. <laughs> white collar Fill in crime. your own blank. <laughs> yeah. Flyer passer outer. I don't think it's white collar crime. <laughs> well, I'm just going to be a little judgy right there. That's me. Those applications are just really, you know... Very personal. Yeah. They ask you all of these questions. Do you hand out a questionnaire when you when you like, hey, so we're gonna be dating? I thought about it. There's actually a comic about that. I have a checklist <laughs> that I would like to sort of incorporate in the process. Yeah. Yeah. So like, you know, um, how do you take your coffee? Sure. Uh, do you wear socks to bed? Um, do you talk a lot? <laughs> like, you know, things like that that just get it out of the way. Sure. You know? Are those deal breakers for you? Like they all? Yeah, yeah. Men who talk, kind of. Uh, 
not not my. You favorite. really shouldn't talk. I think there's a couple comics in here about yeah. that of like, oh, you had to ruin it. Well, because mm. people are so pretty and so lovely, and then they talk, and then it's less lovely. And you do a comic a day, mm-hmm. yeah? Yeah, Monday. Yeah. I mean, Monday through Friday. Give yourself the weekends off. That's exactly. lovely. But I mean, like that takes some time and some planning just to make sure that it's yeah, yeah. up to speed, up to. When I I carry around post-it notes, and so I just like. You know, I'll be like, I have to go, and then jot it down, and, you know. It's really just the snarky comments in my head. It's Excellent. like the, you know, the things I can't say out loud. Well, and some of it at work as well, yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, and, um, There's good material in bars, Yeah, sure. you're a bartender. I am. So you get lots of stories from that, lots I'm sure. Lots of stories. I would feel like at some point it would sort of be like the same story over and over, like, hey, that guy's drunk and an ass. Yeah. That's comforting, though, right? <laughs> like, it's, it's not predictable. It's familiar. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so taking a step away from the world of web comics for a moment, what is your uh, your earliest comic memory? Like, do you read uh-huh. the superhero comics or the, the non-ones? No, or did you... and so when I, um, you know, obviously everybody's got the Sunday paper, right? So everybody's yep. got the colored funnies. The Sunday funnies. Yeah. So, Which um, not always so funny. No, right? Yeah. So it. to get to be syndicated, I think that you just have to um, <laughs> you have to have a dog or a cat, and um, you're sort of approaching the, the the sort of less than intelligent but kind of hungover crowd. Yep. I think it's not too challenging. Or seven year olds. Oh right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, because they were funny. <laughs> those, then, <I> those, <laughs> no. those less than intelligent hungover seven year olds. <laughs> They start so young. Um, no, uh, so Calvin, Calvin and Hobbes, right? Yeah. Everybody's favorite because it's the best thing ever. Yeah. Um, Huge fan. Yeah. And uh, ElfQuest. Oh, yeah. 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 We've got a yeah. couple of ElfQuest yeah. fans on That's how on I learned staff. how to draw boobs, actually, is from, no, because they're foxy. Okay, but you just put dots in well, for boobs. Well, I mean, you know, I do other art. Right. Too. Right. Like, fine My bad. art. <laughs> Boobs. Yeah. Bink. <laughs> um, yeah, so the first comic that I ever uh, I ever drew was called Wags the Dog. <laughs> it was, a dog with boobs? No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, wait, no. Um, <laughs> it, was, it, was, uh, it was just about a dog who didn't like to get baths and chased quarrels. Okay. Yeah. Life imitating art. Mm-hmm. Art imitating life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So the Sunday funnies led you to, hey, I can draw these. Yeah. Did you did you start by like just sort of like drawing over Calvin and Hobbes like I'm gonna draw my own Calvin and Hobbes story? <laughs> I didn't. Okay. No, um, but I did have a lot of imaginary friends in them, you know. Not that Hobbes right. isn't real. That's right. not at all. I'm what not I'm here implying. to judge one way not or another. Not implying that. Um, yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just I like to draw little stories. No, I think that's great. They're little stories. It's little friends. And and we've talked about this. I mean, coming a lot of this comic coming from real life experiences. Mm-hmm. Has it ever gotten you into trouble? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I get a lot of why are you such a dick? Why you got to tell everybody everything? And it's like the, they, it doesn't look like he has a beard. <laughs> like that's not you know. That's not you at all. <laughs> like, I gave him Dave. a mustache. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's a little, it's it's a little bit hard sometimes. Apparently, you have to alter more than their facial hair. <laughs> Nobody knows though, right? Like you don't know who's who. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But yeah, it is a little awkward sometimes. Have you? Has, okay, so it's gotten you into <laughs> trouble sometimes. Has it ever not gotten you into trouble? I mean, like. Not yet. Sort of a wow! Thanks so much for putting me in a comic. No, and I don't understand. I have learned that. so much. I made them famous. Yeah. They are adored by at least ten people, you know. <laughs> Tens of people. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. All right. I mean, do you do you have a way that that shows how many people are reading it or? Oh, on there... the on the the site. Yeah. Yeah, and I actually um, I come home drunk a lot. <laughs> and, well, <laughs> that sounds so bad. And so I come home sometimes. I'm drunk, <laughs> right? <laughs> and uh, there's a graph on WordPress, so it'll be like. Uh, by the week, okay. or by the day, or by the month, and I go day, week, month, and if it goes down, I get sad, and if it goes up, I get really excited. And a couple oh. times a day, I'll check it, and it's like six people looked, thirty people looked. Whoa! Whoa. And it's is, are the numbers climbing or are they? Yeah, actually, Whoa. it's getting pretty. It's getting pretty good. I think that's great. I think it's like 
I think it averages between like two and three thousand people a month. Okay. I don't even. That's I don't not even, bad. I don't even know that many people. No. There's but... some guy in India who apparently reposts it because you can check that too. And then I go to their site. I kind of stalk. I, I stalk them a little bit. Hey, like, if, hey if, he's re- if he's reposting your stuff, I think you're allowed to. Yeah. It's not stalking. That's creative control. He's probably really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. That's what I think. You're gonna make a comic about him. Yeah. 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 He's gonna have a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a different kind of Indian. <laughs> See, I made it worse. Yeah, it's worse. It's <laughs> real bad. <laughs> so what um, is... So, okay. So, so the comic. Yes. Um, I really like it. And I like doing it. And it's super fun. And, uh, yeah. And it's just telling a story. It's make people feel, hopefully, more comfortable with, you know, their day-to-day silliness. I think, I think it does a great job of oh, that. Oh, and there's, uh, there's going to be books. Oh. Yeah. Hopefully Actual. in September. Books. Paper blogs. Yes. <laughs> have you have you heard of those? Paper blogs. I've heard of them. Print them out. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. So that's that's part of the future. Will there be ever like t-shirts or any sort of? I really want to do beer cozies. Somehow that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So there's the drawing of the girl, and she's got argyle socks on, because mm-hmm. argyle is slimming, is the thing. Now so, we know. So I kind of want like her holding a pint glass in her socks, hanging out. A beer cozy. Excellent. Because <laughs> having a beer in the morning in your socks is fun sometimes. I think that's a great plan. That's why we're grown ups. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Uh, if people want to check out the uh, the website, the web blog, the uh, Rain Cloud with a Bar Tab. WordPress.com. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They want to get a hold of you? Yeah, there's an email on there. It's Rain Cloud with a Bar Tab at Gmail. That is easy. Yeah. Excellent. Thank it's you. long a little bit. Ah. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you Yay. for having me. And we have guavosas here today. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Backroom Comics Podcast.